Hey, Psych2Goers, welcome back. Do you often notice when the day has slipped by and you haven't accomplished a single thing? Don't worry, we've all had those moments. This is probably because you've spent your time doing things that were not productive. The first few minutes of your morning set the tone for the rest of the day. If you spend your mornings not being productive, you're more likely to find it difficult to be productive the rest of the day. So to have a productive day, try to avoid the following. Number one, not waking up with a plan. You may fall into the group of people who plan their day out. In theory, this seems like a smart idea. You can find yourself wasting a good part of your morning planning what to do. The time you spend planning your day is time you could spend actually doing things. If you also spend your morning planning, do it the night before. Have a to-do list ready for when you wake up and place it somewhere that will be easy to find. Having a plan or a list of what you want to accomplish helps you be more productive. Number two, checking your phone first thing. It is tempting to check your phone first thing in the morning. It might even be a part of your morning routine. However, your phone may be the reason why you're not as productive as you want to be. The problem with checking your phone is the tempting distraction of social media. You see those little red notifications on your app and you feel compelled to answer, but try not to because you can get sucked into the labyrinth of viral videos, TikTok dances, and random late night TV videos. Maybe you also check your phone as one of the first things you do in the morning, not because you have messages that need your immediate attention, but because you've become used to checking your phone out of habit. But using your phone first thing can rob you of your focus. It has been proven that smartphones can break your concentration and even cause addiction. It sounds absurd, but it's true. The Journal of Experimental Psychology published a study in 2015 that found that cell phone notifications significantly disrupted the concentration and performance of participants when they were performing an attention demanding task. The solution? Instead of scrolling through your phone, read a book or listen to a podcast. The emails and messages are not going anywhere. Number three, immediately tackling your chores. Your to-do list may be packed with chores, but don't tackle them as soon as you wake up. This piece of advice may seem counterintuitive, but take the first moments of the day to invest in yourself, meditate, work out, or clear up your workspace. Develop a morning routine that mentally prepares you for the day ahead. Not only does it get you ready for your day, it also helps you cultivate discipline, which helps you remain productive for the rest of the day. Number four, snoozing. Mm, yes, the old snooze button. It is a master trickster that makes you believe you have more time than you actually do. Sleeping in on its own is not harmful. There are times when your body will ask for more sleep, but try not to make it a habit. If you go back to sleep, you might have trouble waking up to show up for what you have to do later on. Studies have shown that sleeping in can have adverse effects, such as making you feel less energized and affecting the quality of your sleep. However, don't bolt right out of bed either. Allow yourself time to wake up, stretch or wiggle your toes, do whatever you need to do to mentally and physically prepare yourself to wake up. One way to avoid sleeping in is by placing your alarm far away from you, like in your living room or the kitchen. Once you're up and moving, it will be hard to go back to sleep. You could also invest in a dawn simulator alarm clock that wakes you up with UV light. Number five, making too many decisions. Are you someone who spends an extraordinary amount of time and energy mulling over trivial decisions? Mulling over matters like what to wear or what to eat for breakfast isn't very efficient. It robs your brain of necessary mental energy that can be used later on. Give your mind space to breathe. Meditate to declutter your thoughts and try to simplify those choices. Plan ahead so that you don't have to waste time in the morning. You could decide on your outfits the day before or have a go-to look. If making these decisions the night before is a hassle for you, make them the day before. Not only will it save you time, but it will also increase the chances of you eating something healthy in the mornings if you're not in such a rush. Speaking of eating, that brings us to number six, not eating a good breakfast. We all have different approaches to breakfast. Some prefer it, while others, maybe due to dietary reasons, skip it altogether. Regardless of when you decide to eat, make sure it's healthy. While sugary and fatty breakfast foods are usually quick and easy, it's best to steer clear from them. Foods that are high in sugar cause spikes in blood sugar levels, which can cause complications in the long run. Opt to eat proteins instead, which can improve muscle health and regulate glucose levels. There are many healthy breakfast recipes online. If you have dietary reasons for not consuming breakfast, consult your nutritionist for guidance. Mornings are important because they determine how the rest of your day will go. 
What you decide to do in the morning should leave you energized to take on the rest of the day. At first, having a routine will help you improve your bad habits, but don't be afraid to mix up your routine a little later on to stay motivated, as long as what you add benefits your well-being. Do you relate to any of the habits discussed in this video? If so, let us know in the comments below what you're most likely to do in the morning. Also remember to like and share this video with those who might benefit from it. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.